and changing up a bit I'm not really doing a review but I'm doing a tutorial on how to make couches for like displays and whatnot um, I got Deadpool here so I can show you like the size of it I will show you the size of the actual one that I made but I made that while I was on vacation and it stayed out there in Ecuador alright for um, materials what you're going to need is um, any type of cardboard right now I'm going to use um these backings glue gun extra glue sticks I need scissors of course and spare cloth I've actually cut these off of a old shirt that I had so that should work Alright, first off, what you're going to do is start off with the basic design, I guess you will, of the couch itself. So, you're going to have Deadpool here to measure out the seats. So, just put them in sitting position. You know, just measure out like three seats. here now the original one that I used I actually used a tea box this is the way it bended it bended into the shape of an actual couch it made it much easier but since I haven't bought any new teas so this what I have to do all right, you're gonna have this shape. Measurement for seats. Um, for at this point, so you're gonna fold it. Then for the back part, what about this line? I mean, you don't have to use this. You could use whatever you want, cardboard, uh, poster board, whatever's going to be sturdy enough to hold your figure. Now this is just going to be the shape of the back portion and the seats, so we got to build on to it. One more bend. You see it coming together. All right, so with the extra piece that came out from the backing, start making the front portion of the couch. See it right there. Then again, measuring just about a bit less than foot level. Right there. So you know where to cut it. Now my hot glue gun isn't heating for some reason, so I'm doing this pretty ghetto. Which is the lighter and the glue sticks.
see it coming together. It's all piecing together like a like a puzzle. I'm gonna be fast forwarding or skipping a lot of portions, but it's pretty much common sense making these. So you can see it coming along. Save, save these because you can use them as the you know, portion that you hold on to. So I'm actually about to cut out this measurement on another one of these. You could probably use up to three. If you're using these, then if you're using a piece of cardboard or something like that, I'm not really sure. And just folding in the sides and it'll come up. So you measure this, this side up. See where you want the armrest and let's say right around this portion right here. Then that portion and right about there. You can see where it's coming up. I'm only going to show you one side, but you should pretty much know how to do the other side. Measure this up one more time. Right about here. See that? It'll just be gluing it in place. And you got that side. Alright, so here's the front almost done. Just need to fill in this side with a piece of cardboard. Have this side done. See how it's coming together. Pretty much repeat the same process as I showed with this folding to that L shape here and this other L shape on the opposite side. And once we get this done, we start working on the back piece. Upholstering it is pretty easy. Alright, so with that other piece that we cut out, make another L shape to the exact size of this back portion here. So fitting in there and It'll rest right about there. So you're gonna cut that portion off, or if not, you could just glue it as it as is into that place. All right, so here's that bottom part all glued in. And now what we're gonna do is glue this flap onto this one at the right angle right about there then from there is just filling this portion in with another piece of cardboard that I'm guessing we could probably use from this and then upholstering it alright here's the finished product now pretty much 
when you're upholstering it, first thing you're going to do is lie down this T shape right here. Glue the corners in and the edges along here. And then, second part will be this front portion of the armrest on both sides. Afterwards, you need one long strip of whatever the cloth you're using. Glue it at this edge right here, and then you're going to stretch it over and glue this edge as well. This one right here. And here, you don't have to glue this part down, only if you want to. Over here, here. And then do the same thing and glue it on the edge. Next would be this single piece right here. Glue the edges down on all the sides. And then next will be this portion right here. And glue that down. And on the other side as well. And then last but not least will be this entire back portion. One giant piece. And I didn't glue the bottom part in. If you want, you could put a one big piece of cardboard right in this section. And also to reinforce that it won't come undone, you're going to do a layer, a small layer of glue, and then with the glue gun itself, you're going to smooth it down in on all the edges. And there you have. Alright, so there you go. Posing up your figures on there any any way you want. I hope this was useful to you guys. If um you find a better way to make it so it's not as sloppy, go ahead. And go through with it. Now this same technique will work with like one seaters or if you want to do three but there you go this has been a tutorial please subscribe to the channel and this is iron lantern signing out peace